What's up, people? Today on Lisa's Food Addiction, we are combining two of my favorite things, peach cobbler and homemade ice cream, to make the ultimate dessert, peach cobbler cheesecake ice cream sandwiches. They are as good as they sound, so let's get started. To get started, I am grabbing my spatula, my I Love Baking spatula, and I am going to empty the heavy cream into the stand mixer. I got this spatula from Kroger about three or four years ago, and I always use it whenever I am baking, and it holds up really nice. I am going to turn the stand mixer on medium speed, medium or high speed, and beat this heavy cream until stiff peaks form and it starts to look like whipped cream. Here our cream has begun to form what I like to call ripples, meaning there are lines forming in the cream and we are only at about a soft peak. Continue to beat the cream until it becomes thick and creamy like this right here, like whipped cream you would find in the grocery store. Now we are ready to move on with our ice cream base. Now the whipped cream is done and I am going to transfer it to a bowl. This right here, you guys, is my handy stand mixer that I've had, I think, about four or five years now. Yes, a lot of my kitchen tools I've had for a long time, and we have history. I actually thought about naming them. You know how people name cars, like when they had them for a long time? What should I name them? Maybe Betsy or a good old hardworking name like Ruth. Yeah, Ruth and Betsy. Here is another shot of the whipped cream, very thick and creamy, and okay, obviously I felt like dancing. Let's go ahead and get that out of my system. Yep, yep, yeah. Okay, next, I am adding the cream cheese, sweetened condensed milk, and lemon zest. I love adding lemon zest to almost anything cheesecake. It just gives it a really nice pop and like a burst of freshness. And alrighty, we're just going to ignore how hard it was to get that into the mixing bowl. That did not happen. <laughs> and I just turned my mixer back on to medium speed to cream all of this together. Now guys, don't freak out okay it's okay if this is a little you know slightly lumpy that's totally fine we're just gonna mix it you know to get most of the lumps out you know just get it creamed together as best we could but don't freak out if you see a couple lumps left now it's time to combine this all together just by adding the whipped cream into the bowl with the rest of our ingredients here I just tilted the bowl to get a nice grip on it and started to fold the whipped cream into the ice cream. Once you are done folding, go ahead and add the ice cream to a freezer proof pan or container and we are going to freeze this for about 2 hours. Moving on to our peach cobbler filling, start by adding some butter to a pan over medium high heat and we are going to cook this until the butter is completely melted. Now that the butter has melted, we are going to cut up our peaches and add those into the pan along with the butter and let them cook for about two to three minutes. Now it's time for the fun part, time to wake these peaches up. I am adding some spices and some vanilla. And as I was cooking this y'all, it's like the smell of fall came in and like took me away. It was so fragrant and it smelled really good. Like I was making a whole peach cobbler. This really got me excited for fall and who else can relate like I'm sitting here thinking about 
Thanksgiving in June. Somebody help me, please. But seriously, this filling was so buttery and so thick, I could eat this legit all by itself. Now just transfer this filling to a bowl so that it can go ahead and cool off. Here is our ice cream right out of the freezer making its cameo. I am going to spoon our peach filling over the ice cream and by spooning it, it is going to make it a lot easier to swirl it into the ice cream. So now it is time to swirl our peach filling into our delicious cheesecake ice cream. Y'all, I snuck and took a taste, I'm not going to lie, and it's really, really good. So swirling it is just going to allow us to combine the peaches and the ice cream. And this was so addicting, like I could sit and do this all day, no problem. It's like so calming, relaxing my nerves. I love it. Now that everything is combined and well mixed, we are going to stick this back into the freezer for four hours or overnight just to allow it to freeze completely. And voila people, with recording magic, I have one that is already done. To begin our sandwiches, just take an ice cream scoop, scoop them in between the graham crackers. And I'm going to make a couple of these and then we'll come back and show you how it looks. Our ice cream sandwiches are done and finally we can eat these. Here I just added some caramel and some whipped cream. And these were so, so good, you guys. I really hope y'all give this recipe a try. Leave a comment down below if you do and I will see you in my next video. Bye!